Trevor, we've come to a farm here in, in County Down. It's, uh, it's not untypical of some of the systems in Northern Ireland compared to the South, where it's an indoor system yes. on, a, on a three times a day milking. Could you describe maybe who, uh, the farm and who owns it? Yeah, uh, we're on Robert McCauley's farm in Rothfryland, County Down. Um, Robert uh, runs a, uh, six, or sorry, a 580 cow herd, uh, high intensity herd. They're kept in pretty much all year round, um, producing average in around 12,000 litres per annum. Um, I suppose why we've come here, I suppose we wouldn't be used to a system here of uh, a, a slurry separation system. Mm -hmm. I've seen them in the UK and that, but maybe for, for our viewers down south, you know, why is this system here and why, why is Robert using that? Um, Robert's been uh, running this system here for n nearly four years. It's, uh, it's an eco better system. It uh, presses the uh, cow slurry, the fibre out of it, to a dry matter of between 38 and 40 percent. He's currently running at uh, 12 hours every day. For, for this farm here, how, how much is, say quantity wise, how much is he producing here? And is it enough to supply his bedding needs? He's producing uh, somewhere in the region of nine cubic meters per day. Uh, and that's, that's enough to uh, supply all, all the cubicles. And why, why is bedding important for a system like this? Why, why not use sawdust or whatever, or lime, or why use uh, this method? Yeah. Um, Robert had been using uh, previously sawdust. Uh, he was having some issues with uh, mastitis, and he decided to switch over to the green bedding system. And uh, over this past four years, he, he's been uh, totally delighted with the system. Uh, he's, you know, is constantly has uh, uh, very low levels of uh, mastitis. Okay, so, so on this farm here, the cows are in full time, are they? They don't go outside. Cows are housed, uh, yeah, pretty much all year round. Okay, so the slurry then is all coming to one point on the shed here next door to this system here, is it? Yeah, so the, uh, the slurry, uh, th this shed is made up of part uh, slatted tanks and solid passages. So, so it all feeds into the one tank. There's a, an electric pump operates alongside the uh, separator. So once that starts, the separator starts and goes through the motions, runs for, as I say, around 12 hours, switches off, and, and that's, that's running every night. Okay, so what are we seeing here on top of the container, Trevor? What, what is the process? Yeah, well, the process is, uh, at the top section here, it feeds in the, the raw slurry. It uh, comes down uh, into a, a screw or an auger, which turns very slowly, as you can see there. That forces it across. It's got resistance on the end. You'll see the, uh, the weights hanging on it there. So that keeps a constant load on it or back pressure. And, and the, around the inside of it is a, a stainless steel gauze. And the, and the liquid is uh, squeezed through that, runs runs out at the bottom here, across and down, and uh, finishes up in his lagoon for storage. Okay. Does the slurry need to be agitated, or you know how how what, what does the slurry need to look like when it's presented to the system? Or? Well, in Robert's system here, it's pretty much fresh slurry all the time, um, so he, he hasn't he hasn't had to use any any mixing. The uh, the uh, pump that he has on here has a mixing system on it, but he seldom uses it. Okay. Maintenance-wise, something like that, it's dealing with slurry, it's dealing with particles or whatever, what, what, yeah. what maintenance requirements typically would a system like that need? Well, um, he, has, he's, he needs to change the gauze in it approximately every two years. Uh, there, there is a cost in that, of course, uh, somewhere in the region of £4,000 to change that. And that's the that's the only, that's the main uh, uh, part on the system that um, does need replacing. Um, the electric motor is a 5.5 kilowatt. Um, and outside of that, that's really the only maintenance that he has done. Other than uh, every month or thereabouts, fortnight to a month, he, he would have to take the gauze out 
and run a power washer through it and, and back in. And that, that, that's quite simple to do. Uh, that could be uh, in and out within 20 minutes. So we might walk down so we'll have a look at the material as, as, it, as it's presented. So Trevor, we're looking at the, the material here. What kind of dry matter is, would it have came in at and what is it presented here at then? Um, generally, uh, cow slurry would be coming in around um, 7%, 78%. Um, of course, I think the parlor washings come in here as well. But uh, once it's pressed, it's uh, around about 38 to 40% dry matter in this. So Trevor, people might ask, uh, it's dry dung in effect. How, how is there not a mastitis issue or what's the best management method to, to ensure it's, we're not creating mastitis issues? Well, uh, Robert's working on a system here of putting on a, a light dressing every day. Uh, and that's, that's probably key to his success. Uh, you know, we're hearing from him that he might have uh, one case of mastitis every week. It's only on for the day, it's a light dusting Therefore, it's not building up any heat okay. as such, yeah. and it stays nice and dry. Yeah. So from here, how is he applying the material to the cubicle beds? How, how uh, is he putting he's, that on uh, He's using a, a system on the front end loader, uh, which has got a, an auger or a conveyor belt, which shoots it out to the one side. Um, I think he, he does that within probably half an hour, something like that yeah. every day. Investment wise, roughly, what's the capital investment for a system like this, roughly? Well, Robert's system here is uh, designed around a, an old container, uh, but generally, the, you know, the complete system with the better and um, a frame to hold it, which can be risen up to whatever height, just enough to get a loading shovel, shovel in underneath it. And you take that all, all into account somewhere in the region of 40,000 to 42,000 pounds. Okay. And ideally is where the material dropped, is it, is it ideally covered like this to keep the rain off it or does yeah, it Yeah, it would be important to cover yeah. it, it would indeed. Okay.